fishing, just fishing, fishing, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks. All right, here we go, guys. And this is an October 12, 2019 Blackfish Tautog trip with myself, John Halkius, uh, my good friend Rick Koha, and our good friend Jack Breeze. Um, but the real purpose of the video is to go over the install by Rick's son, Jack, a different Jack, Jack Koha of Blue Jay Marine, uh, of the Minn Kota Tarova Riptide 87-inch 36 volt, 114 pound thrust trolling motor. And I know that was a mouthful, but bottom line is it's a game changer, especially when it comes to tog fishing. Um, it just allows for precision anchoring and allows you get, allows you to get in really, really tight, uh, to some nice structure. And, uh, you know, you'll, you'll see a couple short clips from our trip. Uh, we, we limited out, um, and, and not a very long time, but, it, really, the purpose of the video is to go over the trolling motor install. It, there's a lot of work involved in that, at not only wiring it, but mounting it, right? You can't just mount it on your gunnel. You need aluminum backing, aluminum plate uh, that's backed onto the gunnel. It has to be really, it really has to support a lot of thrust. Um, that motor is working to, to keep a big heavy boat like the CV. This is a 32-foot CV. 10,000 pounds roughly, and for it to not move, and today was blowing about 15 miles an hour, it, it's a testament to the holding power of this Minn Kota. Um, so we'll, we'll go over that install, we'll show some fish. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you wanna see more cotton like this, please hit that subscribe button. All right, John, I'm hungry, so we gotta get this done with quick. All right, let's 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 do that, let's do that. Let's adjust the zoom, hold on. All right, wow, look at that. You got some fish gates on your camera, man. Do I? That's that's how you know it's that a good primo, camera. That's primo YouTube style right there. Yeah, so what are we gonna talk about today, All Jack? Right, so I'm Jack with Blue Jay Marine, and we did uh, one of the first uh, Riptide Tarova Minn Kota uh, 84 inch, 36 volt motors. Close, 87 inch. Sorry, 87. 114 um, volts. No, 100 pounds of 114 pounds of thrust. Oh, 114 volts. pounds of thrust. It's 36 volts. So and we built. There was no room to put the batteries, so we put them center. So there's two Group 31s under the starboard box, so it's a, which is also a uh, mount for the porta potty, which is vented from the front. Yep. And the third Group 31 is in this cabinet. And we also have a three bank Minn Kota charger charging all this off the shore power. That's the breaker that runs. So this is our battery switch. So you turn this breaker on, and that turns our trolling motor on. So we made, you can't really mount these motors directly to the boat. So we made this custom aluminum plate with countersunk bolts. It's all painted, clear coated, about six coats of paints on it, self etching primer. Yeah, so it's, you can't tell it's aluminum. It almost looks like starboard or plastic, but that's because you painted it. And there's four gauge wiring all the way up here with a power post, which connects the uh, I believe it's eight gauge here. So you have zero voltage, well, a minimal voltage drop going all the way to the front. So the way you, and there's also a ethernet cable which hooks this up to the Solix. So you can do autopilot features with the dual heading sensor. So there's no right. drift while fluking. Yeah, and what you mean by dual heading sensors is with this, you so put a sensor. The, that heading sensor is the one for the, for the motor, which is Bluetooth to the motor. And then this one is a GPS and heading sensor to the Solix screen. Awesome. And the way it deploys is you have this mount here that holds the head. Of, um, so then you fold this down so that stays out of the way. You can do it either way or your preference. Go back like this. I cut this to length so awesome. it wasn't too long. And then you, this is your trolling motor height. So you can. You loosen that, you, you bring that back. Up. And right then up. I see the release there. Right, so that gets tightened up. That adjusts how high the trolling motor is in the water. And you drop the motor in the water. Simple as that. And that's it. And then it's powered on. That's, that's, that's trolling motor on. And then there's the remote control. Pilot remote. 
which I forgot which button turns it on. There it goes, the check mark. Agree. So these are your your features. So the one we're gonna be using today is this hook, spotlight. You press this. Oh, hold on, it's gotta get a GPS fix because we just turned it on. Uh, What'd you just turn off? The stereo was on. Oh, oh, and you had it super loud. <laughs> I don't know why it turns on with the battery switch. Yeah, I don't know. If only uh, an electronics guy can figure that out. <laughs> that was a joke. So you listen to all that Greek music all day, dude. With Suzuki. George. Uh, let's see. It's so, okay, so that's spot lock. So you can see how it gives you a radar area and your distance from your and how does this stay charged uh, USB USB I have you have to come see me after you go fishing I have a whole box of manuals okay. and a slew of stuff it's okay. got a USB plug that goes in there okay but it's got enough battery for you oh, yeah, to for go for today right yeah um, so you can see it's got this little radar screen here so we're ze we're not moving we're at the dock so we're between zero and one foot from where we start so probably what you'll see is when you get to your spot and you hit spot lock, you may drift off at a hair, but then it'll bring you right back right. on top of I where you're going. I remember with the Rodan on the Kobe, I did the same thing. So that's pretty much it. It's not moving because it doesn't see it. Right, and we're It docked. sees us moving a little bit. See, look, it's a little confused about what's going on. But then you can press, and, and then that that's off. And, off. And, and it's sent to, it should go And then how do, you, how do you put it back? Okay, so you can leave it on. Right. It's not like it's going to kill anything. So... You you hit that down. It's a lot Lift. easier without the dock in the way. Yeah. Lift it up. Pull it back. Slide it in. This is important because if it's if it, qu it releases on its own by accident, yeah, it'll that will allow it not to slide down and get out of control. And then this clips on over here. Awesome. And that's super easy. How it holds. And. Now turn it's off. It off. Awesome, Jack. To turn this off, you hold the home button for a few seconds. Pretty sure that's how it turns off. See, it's his motor not found when it shuts it off. Yep. Hmm. I swear that was how it turned off. There it goes. No, the check mark. Sorry, it's a check mark to turn it on, the check mark to turn it off. Awesome. So that's it. Awesome. And there's also a, I left this on the boat. There's a fancy information sheet. Oh, on look at how that. To use this remote. Right, look of at all that. the different features, and then it goes into depth in them on the back. Awesome. Awesome. About the spot lock. So you can actually put waypoints in. Yep. And then it will spot lock the waypoints. Yep. So there's two different ways to spot lock, and I haven't really played with them too much, but that's essentially how it works. Right, right. And I think for today, we're going to, it's Jack and Rick over there. We're going to, it's very windy today. We're going to stay local. We're going to try for tog, blackfish. We're just going to play with the with the anchor, uh, with the spot lock. We're not going to worry the, about drifting to features, a spot. The right. simple feature, getting over the ground you can, using I think the... You can also move your spot by pressing the buttons and yeah, back and we'll forth. We'll play with that. Today's the day to play. We have a charter tomorrow. Today it's just us uh, playing around and figuring out how to use this. And that's Jack with Blue Jay Marine. I'll include a link in the video. If you're in Eastern Long Island and you want quality work like this done, um, give Jack a call. He's the best in the biz. Hit me up on Instagram. Blue yeah. Jay Marine. Yes, yeah, social media whore that he is. <laughs> All right, boys, let's go. All right, All right, we'll check back in later. And here we are approaching the first spot, and we're more in the open bay here. And uh, we already lowered the trolling motor. Um, looking at the bottom, you're going to see me uh, walk to the front of the boat. I'm going to lock it in, and we're not going to move. We're going to be right on a decent rock pile. And before I could even get my line in the water, I had not even turned on, returned on the camera uh, to start the filming of the fishing, and Jack hooked up to a nice fish. Yeah. Oh, we're coming up on something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll see when we go down, it's rocky. Look at that. That's the, that's it. So let's see if it, if it locked. Oh, do I still have it in gear? No, no, neutral. Yeah, it's working. Yep, I hear it. Now you should look and see if you think that's deep enough. Oh, it's definitely deep enough. 
it's two, three feet under the water. Two feet. Jack said to keep an eye on this for flexing. Yeah. And the plate? Yeah. He said he used a quarter inch, so he says, uh, maybe I gotta bring it up to three eighths. All and, right. Uh, zero, zero on the GPS. I guess we can start, boys. <laughs> a one like you, probably. One and a half. You need a net? Put it in the box. No. Oh, nice blackfish. Keeper, baby. Let's see. It's a keeper. <laughs> First drop. Trolling motor holding us in place. Good job, Jackie. Look at that. Nice fish. <laughs> Put that it nice fish. in the box. Don't give me any shit either. Not keeping it. Come on. You want to take a picture with it? Show it Instagram. We get on the GPS, point two. Oh! Get the net for this one, huh? Good job, Jack. Feels good? Yeah, yeah. Feels like the other one, maybe a little bit. See, he catches them on either side of the boat there, John. Yeah, well, he has skill, you don't. Nice fish. Slack it off. Yeah. Barely. No, the other one was bigger. Fought good though. Yeah, it's fun. And we had three or four keepers at this spot, but we decided to uh, to try a rock wall, and that'll that's the next spot you'll see. And again, the beauty here of the trolling motor is it really allows you to hug close to that that rock wall and. Uh, you know, if you had an anchor, like I said in the beginning, you could do it, but there's always the risk. It's tougher to anchor, you know, and position yourself perfectly. And there's always the risk that if the anchor breaks loose, you're scrambling to start the motor and, and get the heck out of Dodge. Um, no such issues with the trolling motor. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, you're on. That hook set? No. Oh my god, that was the best all time hook set. Well, maybe yours, but that's not a high bar to be <laughs> set against. Look at that. That's a blackfish. He's yeah. coming up. Whoa. Whoa, he was coming up. Now he's going <laughs> he back down. Yeah, he I, I would you. run too if I saw me. Oh my god, look at that giant fish. Well, it's a nice fish. That's 28 pounds? No, it's uh, probably Seven. three. Oh, well, you can use the, the drift stock to slow the drift. Right, so you're only going to use it to wow. drift. Wow, look at this one. He's got a good one here. He'll be going back. <laughs> did you see how much line he just took? I did. Wow. I'm not budging this guy. This is going to be a good fish, I think. My best one of the day. That's not saying much, though. Look at that. You saw him? No. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Look at that fish. Nah. I don't know. We go all the way. Look at this. Uh, Whew, on a half ounce jig. Look at the size of that thing. That's a, that's a very respectable fish. Yeah, six pounds. Whew. All right, buddy. You be quiet. This is my spot. And that's going to be the, the last fish we show on video. Um, we, we had a number of keepers this day, a lot of fish in the, in the five pound range. Um, it, it, it was a great trip, but the point of the video is really to show the holding power of uh, the Minn Kota Tarova trolling motor. And I'll include in the description uh, a link to Jack Kohut if you are in Eastern Long Island or you know in Long Island and you want it, more information on getting one installed on your boat, reach out to Jack, he'll, he'll give you all the details, including pricing, uh, both for the motor and what the install costs. And, and as always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you want to see more content like this, please hit that subscribe button.